Okay. Can you hear me? Maybe. God bless. Let me know if you can. Buzz. I do not know. Are we back? Okay, we are back. I, well, couldn't, couldn't tell you why that happened. I actually have never had that happen before. Um, but here we are, nonetheless. Let me get my controller set up real quick. Honestly, on the bright side, Lexi, do me a favor, stay up for the next like 45 minutes. I promise you it'll be worth it. Maybe not. I'm gonna skip through all the cutscenes, so maybe it won't be worth it. TLDR, we played a very lewd game. No, 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 go, no, go, go sleep, Lexi, go sleep. I, like, seriously, go sleep. Um, go, I, well, well, it's only like, it only makes sense if you, um, if, if you, if the cutscenes are there as well, so but don't stress over it. It's not, I, I promise you, it's not that big of a deal. I know you took a nap, but you have to get your rest. Oh. But, but okay, okay, if you want to if if you would like to rest, you may you may you may you if you want to hang out, feel free, Lexi. Oh my goodness, staying forever. There we go. Should be good now. Oh, oh wow, I really need to update my drivers. Okay, I think we're good now. Probably have to do all this again, but like, hey, you know, sometimes it just be like that. Oh, a brat always gets her way. <clears throat> well, I I could just end stream, Lexi, and then you wouldn't have your way. Just saying. But I'm also not that mean, so. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I can stomp you? Oh, oh, wow. That's aggressive even for you. When was the last time we saved? 
I honestly think we're gonna have to. Jesus. It doesn't. What do you? It's. I'm. What? Why are there monokumas? Am I streaming tomorrow? I'm streaming Everyone. Smash tomorrow. Everyone's going to be killed. Well, how many people are we gonna save this time? Who knows? Now's not the time to worry about that. Hi, oh, stop! I don't wanna die! No! Please stop! Forgive me! I'll do anything! Oh my goodness. I'm like actually angry. Computer, why? You know what a smart person would do? They would conserve their ammo. I almost fell asleep. Wait, what? Gold is more important. The money, follow the money. Wait. No! It just won't stop! It's going to be okay tomorrow? Just a little Wait. bit more. Do your best. Wait, let me just aim. Aim for the eye. Oh, okay. Let me just collect this gold. Crash the oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I guess I can't skip this, huh? Oh, yes, I can. Yeah, Funky, if you need to sleep because you have school tomorrow, go sleep. It's almost 1 a.m. for you. I mean, we get to play hentai game again. Oh yeah, someone clipped this since we're here. Was someone just? <laughs> Master Biakia must have been talking about me. <laughs> they clipped it. Okay, I just didn't know if this was like a better opportunity because you said you think you got it. I just wasn't sure if you like got it or why not. Fungi is seven seconds old. I don't think an M well, I take that back. I take all that back. Sorry to disturb you while you're busy, Lexi, but it's time for a tutorial. You can fight away the tentacles with the A button and the directional button. The tentacles will attack from the outside of the screen. Use the right stick to switch to the display. Letting Kamaru get gripped increases the heart meter. 
You know what that represents, right? If, if it fails all the way, it's game over. So, enjoy yourself, but you know, keep that in mind. Time to begin the motivation! P please, no! N no, no more! You like this? Huh? You like it, don't you? All can try to sleep. Have a good sleep, a fungi. Sleep well, rest well. I can't believe they turned this into a minigame somehow. Motivation, motivation. <laughs> it's amazing like how fast this game goes without the cutscene. Huh. So that's how you trigger that. Finally did the Luigi Me title defense in Ultra Cut. Wait, what is that? Get up, girl. Her sounds are a little weird, not gonna lie. You know what sucks about speedrunning? I do not know what does suck about speedrunning. invited her to a sleepover. That might just be the, you know... Yeah, my clothes. That tongue? Oh, so why, what would you do with that tongue? Green schoolers are brutal. I don't know why I decided to go in the middle every time. So I was just going to attack. What? How much time is there to attack this girl? There's like no time to hit her at all. I'm trying to, I've been trying to use fever. I actually don't know how to activate it. Oh. 
Somehow I did it. And that's an F I. No, was it Herbert? Perverted to the extreme. Oh my goodness. Is she a reptile? Is she though? So is she? Oh my goodness. Oh, it's the same one. The heck? I mean, I'm actually 18, but this is really too much. And we're back to where we are. Now don't go getting captured by Kamaru Nagi? More like Kamaru Nagi. <laughs> oh, come That's on. like that the most oh so joke ever. ever, too. Lame, so lame. Why do all the bodies of demons not absorb at all? Like, their bodies are bigger for no reason. They're not even filled with the dorbs things inside. It's like in, it's like an egg that has nothing inside. Empty Dumpty. I should kill them all just for that. Speaking of eggs, there are two ways to write egg in Japanese. You can use the word in different ways. The first egg means shelter where life from where life is born, and the other egg means a cooking ingredient. Woohoo! Isn't trivia just so adorbs? Okay, I don't really know what we're going for here. Or if I'm just oh, hold on. I didn't try this yet. Maybe this will work, who knows? Wait. Okay, no. I gotta listen to music uh, and, I, and then I gotta sleep. Sleep well, Oso. It's good seeing you. Oh, there's a door right there. It's like the heck? Let me explain title defense. Thanks to you, I did manage to get myself a new outfit, but you wrecked the moving fighter castle. I feel furiously angry. You have seriously made me mad. Ooh, water Your level. Your face doesn't really match up with what you're saying. This is acting, after all. Inside my heart, I can't help but feel unlucky. Speaking of unlucky, you really should have let me motivate you a little more. Motivate, huh? You could have felt so good. Your mind would have been blown. You'd become so twisted. I don't want that to happen. Oh? You're going to abandon the responsibility of being adorbs? That's not fair. Why did you just say adorable? Being adorbs means being an object of jealousy, being called ugly bitch, or told to die. Oh, okay. Learning the ways of the female world. If that doesn't happen, being adorbs just isn't worth it. I think what you're describing is called undue resentment. And another thing, Omaru is not as cute as you say she is. She's like slightly above average. Oh, I'll take that. Undue resentment? No, no, no. This is the work of demons. All I wanted was to be the same as everyone else. A normal kid who didn't stand out. But she used me to get her dream, even if it meant going to market with me. Well, the guys who wanted that are to blame, too. Business with a mother and daughter set? How perverted can adults be? Oh, my mistake. I meant demons, not adults. Seriously, I'm so ashamed of myself for actually listening to what those ugly demons used to say. Mm -hmm. But everything's changed now. As someone who knows what makes adults happy, I also know the things they don't want. Using what I've learned, I can take down the demons and make them suffer as much as I did. Not all adults are like that. There are good people. Then why didn't anyone save me? If the world is so good, why didn't anyone help me escape? Well, doesn't matter. What I said just now, that wasn't how I really feel. That was acting. To 
just leave it to the former child acting genius. And a perfect performance is easy as cake. Former. And also, I've been saved by Big Sis Junko anyway. That name again? I'm sick of hearing that name. Oh? Does Miss Ugly Glasses over there happen to know Big Sis Junko? Yeah, she helped kill her. Miss Ugly Glasses? You guys have no idea. You don't know how horrifying that woman really is. Junko. You were fooled. I don't know how she convinced you that she was some sweet, gentle girl, but... G gentle? Oh, gentle. triggered. Please! <laughs> Stop with the gentle! Triggered. This doesn't look like acting. No! I don't want gentle! I don't want any more gentle! I... I said I... Anything but gentle. Fighter robot. Oh, okay. Don't even let me read it. I see how it is. Don't say you'll be gentle. Please. Just hurt me instead. If you use it, gentle. Please be gentle with me. Please kill me instead. Hey, Foxy. How are you? I just want to check that out real quick. Robot has to have a weak spot somewhere, right? This is the axe. Let's try to find it. Ow. Oh. Mega piston. Right when the axe connects with the ground, seems like a good time to strike. Here's the weak spot, hiding under the armor. Under the arm. Oh, I see. Want to be gentle with me? I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Oh, paralyzed ammo full. Okay. Wait, you only have ten paralyzed ammo? Is it really that good? Actual game over. It's time for a brief tutorial. When your health is about to run out, enemy may come to final attack. When this happens, the spare times begin. It's just like what you see here. If you can stop the shrinking white circle, and yell, oh, okay, Toko will save you by attacking the enemy with their stun gun, which uses up one battery. But if you can stop in the blue area, surprise, you won't use up any battery. Uh, okay. Even without a magic 
magic circle. Spinny, spinny! Right! Filthy demons get grinded, traded, flushed down the toilet! What the actual hell? What are you doing? Turning, turning, a swiftly tilting world! Filthy demons get grinded, traded, flushed down the toilet! Turning, turning, a swiftly tilting world! What? Just throw the axe on the ground, woman! Not that hard of a concept. No. How am I supposed to win if you don't do what I want you to? Thank God. Oh, hello. Oh hey, we didn't lose a life. What about that? I really do forget to use my dance, don't I? I'm sorry. What did she do? Shut up! This time around, I am definitely going to get you to talk. Where is Master Biakia? What are you doing to that child? How oh, immature of you. No, I guess it is rather demonic in a way. The strawberry bloomers though, did you want them, Lexi? Ganging up and abusing a child? It's like a special skill all you adults have. What? Abuse? You guys are the ones who started all this. All we want is a peaceful paradise. Where children can live without fear. Don't make me laugh. You've been using those monokumas this whole time to murder adults. She's right. If all you wanted was a peaceful paradise, you shouldn't have done it like this. There is no other choice. We must kill them. If we allow them to live, our paradise will be undone. Absolutely, Lexi. 10 out of 10 cute. And if that happens, we will be forced to endure our pain once more. Nothing will change. We can never be at peace until we have wiped out every single one of them. Yes, it is. So we have to kill the demons to protect our world. That sounds like something from a damn video game. Have you lost your mind, kid? Not the fourth wall break. Yeah. You're probably right. We've all gone mad. Masaru, Jotaro, Kotoko, Monica. We're probably all insane. Broken. No, they kill themselves before they become adults. But whose fault is that? The adults are the ones who broke us. Nagisa. You want to hear the truth? 
We're scared. We're all terrified at the adults, hearing their footsteps, sensing their presence. We can't help but feel scared. Completely terrified. As long as adults exist, we cannot rest. We cannot live in peace. At this point, the damage is irreversible. I miss hanging out with you too, Lexi. Good night, Lexi. Sleep well. So you're saying we should just take it? You're saying we should abandon all hope? Hope? No. It's fine. Let's end this already. I want you to leave this town. Huh? You want to run away, right? You want to escape the city? No! Right? I want to free the city. No city escape. Wrong game. Then I will let you leave. Satisfied. Nagisa! Are you sure? It's my decision. As leader. But what about Monica? I'll persuade her. Hold on. Are you seriously saying you're just gonna let her go? Until you two arrived, our revolution was progressing smoothly. I don't want you to interfere any longer. So please, just get out of here. Stay away from us, please. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Boom. Boom. <laughs> oh, look, it's, right. a, All done. it's a satanic circle. Yay! Monica's very own special made magic circle. <laughs> oh, you're awfully chipper. Well, of course. Everything is going swimmingly. Spin, 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 the world is spinning, and Monica's at the center. Everything is all thanks to my wonderful allies, playing their part and doing their best. Looks like time's winding down. Just a little bit longer and we'll have a brand new successor on our hands. <laughs> a second generation Junko and Ashima, huh? Well, things are getting pretty interesting around here. Mm. <laughs> oh, they're gonna make a little Junko. I hate everything. Despite the fact that you're a foolish commoner, I suppose you at least worked hard. Another fanfic? It's actually canon, believe it or not. What, did you wish you that was your fantasy, Melanie? Is that what you want? To dream of Master Byakuya? Just kidding, you would dream of Chia Master or Mistress Chiaki. I know you better than that. I beg of you, please, just leave this city. Where did this come from? I hate Kaiba. <laughs> Oh, I knew this would happen. What the hell? In order for the new society of children to be calm and peaceful, I need to create paradise. Everyone has high expectations of me. I cannot fail. So please, get out of our town. <laughs> oh, Maru, don't be tricked. You don't have to actually accept that offer. This is DRV3. No, this is not an offer. It's an honest request. Please, I'm begging you. Please leave. 
Hey! I wouldn't trust a kid, even if he's kneeling on the ground. He's obviously tricking us. Totes odds. I do not intend to trick you. I'm serious. You are free. Nagisa, if you do this, you're gonna make Monica super sad. I know that, but it has to be done. Monica has high expectations of me. I'm sure she'll understand. I'll take you to the secret passageway. It's the only way to get out of town. You actually start watching a playthrough of DRV3? Oof. I can guarantee Welcome back, Razor. Reach it. The Monokumas won't attack with me here. Is it good? Come on, let's go. Hey, I told you to wait. What? Do you have another objection? Do I? Um. Oh, oh Maru, are you really okay with this? Huh? Of course she is. This is what she wanted all this time. I, I wasn't talking to you. I'm asking Amaru. She wants to leave this town. Why are you getting in her way? You're on the same side, right? Then you should respect her feelings. Her feelings? Sh shut up. You have no right to say that. It's Fuck the beginning. Be oh, right. boy. I will personally guide you to the secret passageway. No need to worry. Let's go. Nagi sir! Don't follow us. B but you don't want Monica to hate you, do you? Toko? Yeah, she I th I'm pretty sure she can. No? Toko doesn't have the wrist, I don't she doesn't have the wristband, I don't think, right? Crazy. Ooh. Let's go. The secret passageway is this way. This way. I mean, I guess to be fair. That kid. He looks so normal. Running like that. Kay. How does a non-normal kid run? Wait, Coco, move. The only thing I could tell for sure about after taking the night shift as lookout, the children are all wearing these idiotic helmets. None of them look like they're sleeping, and I've never seen them eat either. Are they really human children? Isn't it possible they're just mechanical dolls like Monokumas? Well, regardless, whether they're humans or robots, they're devils in our eyes. The only difference is what liquid they bleed when we run them over. I thought she couldn't leave for some reason. I'm not really sure why, but I thought she couldn't leave. She's looking for- well, she didn't know that beforehand, though, is the thing. Like, she knew that Byakuya was missing after they talked to um, Makoto, but before that, she, uh, she could have left. At least, I think she could have. This way! Follow me closely! I mean, I know they just appear, but I don't know from where they appear. What's going on? Why is he getting ambushed by the Monokumas? I don't know either. Stop it! 
Ammo's nice. Oh look, ammo we have. Wait. Well, I remembered. I'll remember to use dance this time. Check this out. Check this out. Oh wait, hold on. Try that one again. Look at that. Look at that. And then check this one out. Oh, it actually didn't work out as well as I thought it would. But like, hey, I guess it, you know, was something. Ready? Ready for this? Ready for this? Look at them. Look at them all huddle all the way over there. And then, then run them over the car. Go boom! And then one of them survives anyway because why? Why wouldn't he? I thought you said the Monokumas wouldn't attack us if you were here. This is strange. Hey, you weren't lying when you said you wouldn't trick us, right? Of course. If I wanted to deceive you, I would not have removed your wristband. Then, they must have found out you betrayed them. Betrayal? Me? No, that's wrong. I'm no traitor. I'm just saying it's true. I'm the leader of the Warriors of Hope. I care about making Paradise more than anybody. The reason I'm letting you guys go is because I care so much. It appears your allies aren't taking it that way. Oof. I'm sure she'd understand if I explained it to her properly. Monica has such high expectations. Yeah, keep on saying that, Mr. Genius Grade Schooler. Let's go. Move! Bodies everywhere. I'm getting sick of this. Move! M -m 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 the secret passageway is this way. You know, Tangled said to explore, so I'm doing my best here to explore as much as possible. Move! Thank you for the ammo. I'm going to need that at some point. Oh, here comes another wave. <laughs> I'm a warrior of hope. I'm your master. All right. Okay. There we go. Trying to minimize as many shots as we need. Okay, well, we need two for this. There's one. Oh, I guess we need three. Maybe not? Oh, no, we don't. Okay. Oh, did we kill him? Be real. How did he die? This. It's wrong. Just wrong. Oh. Yeah! I actually kind of like the game over uh, music. I'm a warrior of hope. Not gonna lie. I'm your master.
spawn. Okay. Yeah. I think they appear on this side. Uh, shoot the one in the middle. Cause then this one falls. I don't know why they just don't, they don't throw grenades from game over. I think that was my first actual game over. Low key. Okay, hold on. I'm just gonna lay wait for them to blow up a little bit. Okay, so he's the one left over. There we go. So what am I playing this on? PC. I mean, I pretty much play everything if that's like, you know, Smash and all that. On like this, like Nintendo stuff hey, I play. Where are you going? The secret passageway is this way. So he says. Let's go. Also, good morning, Tangled. Is this where we came from? No, it's not. Conductor's 48 hours. Odoriko Akana's An Anaka's famous famous as the genius conductor is regarded as the world's perfect, talented, extraordinary, and beautiful. However, she has a secret that she keeps in awe. The pinnacle of, of a lyrical sexual prose, a fluttering melody of suffering and sadism. This novel seems pretty intense. Interested? So Even with S and M bits, it's beneath me. It's probably just some softly written wish fulfillment fanfiction garbage. I feel like this is a reference to like Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> um, I'm not sure it's going to be that bad. What do I control? The aim? PS4 controller or PS3 controller? No, it's definitely not going to be that bad. I can feel the lack of talent from here. Sleep now. I love you so much. I love you so much, Lexi. Sleep well. Have a wonderful day tomorrow. Any book with the title this bad has just to be bad on the inside. Um. Well, if the ultimate writing prodigy says it, says it is, I'm sure it is true. Ugh. I take you subjects like SNM boil down to this crap. A true masochist like me would do better. How did this even get published? It must really be desperate to put this out. Which reminds me. Hey, as um, a true masochist, have you ever had that kind of experience? What? Like being tied up or suspended? There's no such way I do such indecent things. Mm -hmm. How do you know you're a masochist if you've never done that stuff before? Isn't that like someone saying they love cigarettes before they, but they've never smoked before? <laughs> you underestimate my imagination. Every spare moment, I'm stepped, I'm being stepped on, tied up, suspended by my master in my head. <laughs> you sound pretty proud about that. Good. That reminds me, I was really tied up. One time, I was really tied up and suspended. Could it be? Huh? By Biakia? No. No, I don't remember his name now. It was when I was in third grade. Some of the lunch money got stolen and it somehow ended up in my desk. My classmates thought I did it, so they tied me up with a jungle gym with a garden hose. That's so cruel. That's horrible. Right. At the time, I felt the tingling sensation, but I'm not sure that's related. Aww. No, that definitely sounds like a formative experience. Well, now we know how she found out. You. you... you think so? 
Oh, there's nothing here, okay. We got dance and knockback. Oh, we're about to see the rollers. Wait, 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 wait. This can't be real. Did I run into him? Did like I roll this. him over? It's wrong. Just wrong. Oh. Run! I actually ran him over. What do you know? It's like playing bowling almost. I did! I actually didn't think it would hit him! That's why I was so confused. There we go. Run! Dance is OP. Apparently it is. Oh, hi, 88 Sassetto. How are you doing? I've seen everyone make that mistake at first, even me. I, like, he seems so invincible. Hmm. Right? Sorry, I, I was honestly looking at the game. Um, but, like, he seems so invincible that, like, he probably shouldn't get hit by it. But, I don't know. Let's go. That's Let's game over number two. This way. It is what it is. But welcome to the stream. I hope you're doing well. So, so cruel. This is too cruel. I won't look. But even if I don't see it, I can pretty much figure out what happened. Oh, I didn't even see that pile there. 
You really don't feel anything seeing this? These people are demons, our enemies. That's not what she asked. You said it before, right? It's because you're afraid of adults? Yeah, that's right. We can't help but be terrified around adults. Mm. If the adults just didn't exist, we could live peacefully. That's what I believe. Why are you so afraid of adults? We warriors of hope are classmates in the Hope's Peak Elementary program. Oh. We were in the classroom where they put all the troublemakers. But I resented being called a troublemaker. It makes it sound as if we ourselves were the cause of the trouble. But that's not right. Our troubles were created by adults. By our parents. They say kids can't pick their parents. Well, we were the unluckiest ones of all. But they were also ultimate. My parents were, without exaggeration, the worst. Like demons. My parents raised me like they were leveling me up in some game. Whoa, what the heck? They didn't treat me like a person. They probably even forgot I was their child. From morning till night, study, study, study. When I got sleepy, analeptics. Even if I faint, HP is fully restored with a handy IV in my arm. Three to four days straight. Honestly, this just makes me feel bad for playing Pokemon. And if I showed even the slightest resistance, They'd use items to neuter my spirit. And by doing so, as long as they steadily racked up XP, I'd level up to their expectations. So, wait, oh. And it wasn't just at home. I received the same expectations at school as well. My father was a teacher at our school. He was a researcher of children's talent. He used his own son to research the growth of a child's talent. He wanted to see what the growth curve would be like if he pushed a child to the breaking point. Isn't that funny? I was the subject of such an amusing experiment. It's not funny at all. But even with all that, he was still better off than the others. You need a hug? Big hug. You saw Monica's legs, right? That was done to her by her family. What? They broke her legs? Her father and older brother were jealous of her talent. And that's how she ended up like that. That's horrible. Because we had talent. Because we were superior. We were treated like we were in hell. But during it all, we didn't hold a grudge against our parents. We accepted how we were treated. Because we weren't aware that it was okay to hate our parents. We trusted the common knowledge that kids must love their parents. So we didn't fight it. Okay. Instead, we bonded over our struggle. And those discussions led us to the same conclusion. We had to escape from the horrifying world that made us suffer. We were desperate to run away from our scary parents. Scary adults. The whole scary world. And we thought there was only one way out. But that's when it happened. There was someone who taught us to have courage. To fight back instead of running away. Junko Sama. That was Big Sis Junko. Big Sis Junko told us how. If you don't want it, give it to me. Ooh, her voice actress is here too. She wanted the thing we were going to dispose of our lives. And so, Big Sis Junko abducted us. Our disappearance didn't make much news. This was around the time the incident was growing. Ever since then, the days have been so much fun. Big Sis Junko showered her possessions with love and affection. She gave us not only love, but a dream as well. The dream of creating a children's paradise, where the children can live peacefully. We also learned from Big Sis Junko the beliefs required to build that dream. The belief that adults are demons. It was as if we saw the light. Thanks to her, we finally realized the common knowledge we had known up until then were lies adults created for their own benefit. Children cannot defy their parents. Everyone must get along. Violence can never bring peace. To destroy the world based on such lies, we decided to fight against the adults. It's like the French as as Revolution. Remember, the first adult we defeated was a random person we didn't even know. We learned that kids can kill adults if they wanted to. And we were encouraged. 
from there, we leveled ourselves up by killing demons. Big Sis Junko was so pleased. Just the idea of a child killing an adult is despair inducing. I see her as a god. I'd be down for it. Junko Sama? Mm. That's a nice tone to it. Just as I expected. You guys were just tools to her. She was using you. The way she took you in, it's no different than a cult. Uh, I should be fine. I'm not dropping any frames. You bring in the weak people and attach them to your own dream. The revolution you're talking about? It's all just another piece of despair to her. You guys were completely deceived by Junko and Ashima. And what's wrong with that? Did I not tell you that we are her possessions? We would rather her take advantage of us than horrible adults. Sounds like it's too late. Say what you like. Big Sis Junko gave us hope. That's the truth. And because of that hope, we were able to defeat the demon boss. Demon boss? Our parents. Oof. You killed your parents? That was a special battle that can only be fought once. That made us level up even further. From there, Operation Children's Paradise began, and we started freeing other children. By doing so, the advance of the Warriors of Hope seemed unstoppable. But just when things were going so well, Big Sis Junko died. Killed by some idiot. Herself? When she died, and we lost our guide, we didn't know what to do, but Monica didn't despair. I'm just sitting here eating jelly bellies so I don't see drop frame drops. Oh my goodness, I wish I had jelly bellies. God bless, that sounds so good right now. All we gotta do is fulfill the hopeful dream Big Sis Junko gave us. We shouldn't give up. We can't abandon hope. Oh, they're hopeful too. At just... that moment. Monica looked just like Big Sis Junko in our eyes. Things that didn't matter vanished. And we felt ourselves rising up again. Rise, Lord. Vader. Come to think of it, that moment, that was the real beginning of the revolution. Ice Cream Cone won't stop it. You make me so hungry. And this time around, I swore an oath. We, the survivors, will fulfill the dream and prove how amazing Big Sis Junko is. We would leave lies like education and love for family in the past and create paradise. Meanwhile, the societies that they're built on is based off of education and love. But hey, whatever. That is our hope. Whatever works, man. You guys, you really don't understand that you're doing something very wrong. Justice and evil. These are beliefs that adults have defined, are they not? First off, Pure evil simply does not exist. In all evil, there is something good. And in the same way, justice always hurts someone. There is no pure justice either. <laughs> Are we really going to stand around waxing philosophical with some little brat? I want to know why you guys chose Toa City. And not only that, how did you guys get that army of Monokumas? There you go. Now she's asking the real questions. The one who chose the city and prepared our Monokumas was Monica. Isn't she amazing? She created them with her special magic. Magic? Don't take any of this seriously. It's just some kid talking. Basically, Monica's the mastermind. And to save Master, I gotta deal with her. Monica is our princess. I will never allow that. H hey! Earlier, you said that there is no such thing as pure justice or evil. But even if that's true, a dream that requires you to hurt someone? Hi, DS Red. How are you doing? <laughs> After all this time, still saying something so naive. It seems as though we really don't have much in common. I was right to ask you to leave. So let's go already. The secret passageway is right up ahead. I think I'm gonna probably end really soon. I don't know why, but I feel like I just hit a brick wall. And I cannot stay up any longer for whatever reason. We're here. It's at the shrine. But 
Uh, tomorrow, I think I'll stream. I'm gonna stream my Smash. I'm gonna stream my Smash set reviews. And if there's time, I'll stream DR. I'll let you guys know. But Thursday, I'll definitely stream um, DR. Probably start earlier too. We should get going. Hey, Omaru, do you have a second? Huh? Y yeah. Are you really sure this is okay? To end it like this? Running away? You're asking this now? All this time, I've been trying to escape. And not just that. I'm still worried about my dad and mom. What are you gonna do, Toko? Are you really gonna stay here? Uh, of course, I have to save Master Biakia. Right. Hey, what do you think, honestly? Is it better for me to stay in this city? Why are you asking me? No, DR, like Danganronpa. Like, I'm gonna stream this on Thursday is uh, what will probably happen. Uh, just cause, I don't know, I, I feel like I hit, literally just hit a brick wall and I, I'm very sleepy. I mean, if I go... Cause I was, You'll be alone. My original plan was to stream this for like another hour or so. Toko, do you want me to stay? You have no reason to worry about me. I'm capable of surviving on my own. Yeah, you're right. When I'm around, I'm just a burden to you. Aww. Unlike me, you're truly amazing, Toko. Hey, Omaru? Hmm? Sorry for getting you involved in all this. Involved? What do you mean? N nothing. Just leave before he changes his mind. I can't sleep until your math is done. What math are you doing? I'm gonna guess geometry. But I don't know if that's right though. Could be algebra two or algebra one. There definitely is something here. I thought this place would be fine, but I was confident I would never be found. But as if they knew where I was hiding. In the beginning, a monokuma came and attacked me. I was just as I was just barely able to escape, but I couldn't save her. My wife was killed. She was torn apart limb from limb. They cut off her skin, and her flesh was everywhere. But I just ran away. I'm done for it. There's no place to hide, no place to run in this city. Um. It's true that your parents were cruel to you, but it doesn't mean you can kill all the adults. <laughs> Again, with that nonsense. After all this. We're, we are well aware that we are killing innocents. But... This is war. When you're burning the enemy's country to the, to the ground, are you going to spare the, quote, good people? Even if we had years, we would never achieve our dream of benevolence. But... But, but... Demon. I read relatively fast. Do you want me to slow down? I mean, I can enunciate better if, if you want me to slow down. Oh, oh okay, I see what you're saying. Consider it fate. We were born and raised here. We were treated as if we weren't even human. Wouldn't it be a cruel twist of fate if we didn't fight back? Um, but just for you to do to them what they've done to you, perhaps we should have stayed subhuman, just accepted it? No. No, no, not like that. Hey. Then t you tell me, what should we have done? What was the right thing to do? What should we have done to earn the privilege of a normal, happy childhood? Don't mess with me! So I was stopping such a drama queen. You could have relied on the police, on the government. Don't mess with me! You're asking those who have had their lives destroyed by adults to trust other adults. <sighs> Ever since we five were born into our city, our destiny was decided. No one can stop us. With all the children in this town, we will build an ideal paradise. With all the children in this town, you're talking about those all those brats in the helmets? Of course. 
not just us, but also Monica, but kids. All the children. Hi, Taimo! How are you doing? Taioma! I, oh my goodness, I just realized that how mispronounced that was. Taioma. Shout out to Taioma. Streams a variety of stuff. Pretty awesome dude, too. Streams much earlier than myself, though. Let's see. T A I O M A H underscore. Oh, I did it! Hold on. Oh, thank you for the host as well. Oh, Yuki Jan. How was your stream? What did you stream? Hello, Miss Katonic 666. Hello, Miss. Hold up. Hello, Salty McSalt Man. Hello, Honey Hitman. How are you all doing today? How was your day? It's far too suspicious. Funny that all the kids in this town just happen to have murderous intentions like you. <laughs> hmm. Perhaps I said too much. The streaming Hypnospace Outlaw. Ooh, what's that about? I have nothing else to say to you. You cannot stop us now. Pretty bold for a shrimpy little brat like you to talk big. I don't care how unfortunate your childhoods were. Killing humans will never be okay. I didn't expect a demon to understand. Damn. Oh, there's the next save point. Ah, we'll go one more save point after this. Okay, we don't need that. And then we need that so we can save. Uh, point and click games where we investigate the. Ooh! Y2K. There's a. There's a event I haven't heard in forever. Wait a minute. Do I see Shim Shim? I don't see Shim Shim. There's a fake browser, lots of. Actually, it sounds like a lot of fun. I've never this been a big fan of like point and click games though, except for Minesweeper. Although Minesweeper is a little bit different. This is it. This is the secret passageway we prepared in case of emergency. Go through here, and you can get outside the town. At least they prepared. What are you doing? Hurry up and leave. Hey, what's the holdup? If you just go through here, you'll be outside of the city. She wants to help the people here. Didn't you want to run away? Didn't you want to escape this town? Th that's right, that's what I've always wanted. At least that's what I thought. Toko, is it really okay for me to go? D do whatever you want. It has nothing to do with me. Not anymore. Oh my. Seems like I made it just in time. Damn. That's kinky. Man, that was close. Truly a last minute save. You? Why are you here? Why am I here? To persuade her to stay, of course. So that our boring and common protagonist who has no distinct characteristics doesn't just quit. Oh, damn. Huh? Komaru Naegi, though you are normal, not an ultimate, or even a part of Future Foundation, I really do think quite poorly of the idea that you would abandon your friend and run off alone. Big yikes. Are you really going to just run away like this? Is your conscience clear? Stop it! What are you saying? She's about to leave for good! That would be quite bothersome for me, you know? That is why I must convince her to stay. Huh? It would be disappointing if she did not see the game through to the end. How it was meant to be. Was that a fourth wall break? Just go speaking your mind without permission. You're a servant. Listen to me. In order to see our paradise, this girl cannot stay here. So then I must ask, which is more important to the warriors of hope? Paradise or the game? What are you talking about? It's obviously 
The game, of course. What? You're a smart one. You must be at least vaguely aware. Otherwise, you wouldn't be sneaking about. You could have openly proposed a halt to these slayings to focus entirely on building paradise. And the reason you did not do exactly that and are instead going behind their backs is because you realize your favorite Miss Mage would choose the game over paradise. Do you know what you call someone who behaves like you're behaving? A traitor? A traitor. Oh, that's right. Look at that. Called it. You're wrong. I care about them more than anyone. They all have high hopes for me. I mean, I am the leader. Nagisa. See, if that was the hangman's gambit, I would have guessed it right. Isn't it best if you just calm down a little? You can leave the rest to me. Ugh. Okay, I really think you should. My boy Nagita, he back. D damn it. Kinkier than ever, but he back. That's right. People who are not needed in this scene should go and make their exit. What are you talking about? I must admit, I am a little disappointed. When I heard that she was his little sister, I was intrigued. His? Makoto? Do you know him? Yeah, we're like twins. Now listen, since I've planned the game out this far, I would like it to be completed. I don't think there's anything left in the fourth wall. <laughs> He's of course. Perhaps I am being somewhat unfair to you, Komaru. Rather, the one who disappointed me was Toko. Huh? Uh... Now perhaps I am mistaken, but I believe we made a promise. You were to escort her to headquarters. Promise? Es escort? W what are you talking about? Oh, I really think it should be Toko who answers uh -oh. the question. But if you continue to be silent, the story cannot progress, so I will speak. I made a deal with Toko. If she escorts you to the children's main base, I will release Byakuya Togami. Consider it exchanging hostages. The plan was to trade you and Byakuya. Byakuya. What are you talking about? And it was that's, such a good deal too. That's a really hard place Why to put her in. That's a lie, right? You're lying right now, aren't you? You're just making it up! If you believe it to be a lie, think back on when you two first met. Damn, the betrayal, Toko. When you first arrived at the hospital in your parachute, did you know why Toko turned up there? She came to save you because she was told where you would be landing. How else could you possibly explain such a contrived encounter? The reason Toko has been your companion through all this was because of her deal with me. Lies! You're lying! I went through considerable trouble making sure you would complete this little game. Returning the hacking gun you had lost, having the Monokuma kids deliver items, that was me. Consider it game balance, as they say. You've thought about it before, I'm sure. Why enemies conveniently drop items. Why the path you must travel on to well, advance is always clear. Now we know who made this game. The game began as a way for the children to have fun. But it was also a game to help you grow. And I am the one who made it that way. Why me? Hmm? You mean, why was I so particular about choosing you? Well... That is all your brother's fault, of course. Makoto? He defeated Junko and Oshima, the one I truly hate. And I wasn't there to witness it. Oof. That's why, this time around, I wanted to see the action up close. And not only that, unlike him, an ultimate, you are a normal girl who can't do anything. This is like literally what he told Hajime. That was particularly compelling. Her brother, a hero, the symbol of hope. The little sister, utterly boring by comparison. If someone like you were to stand against despair, that would bring hope to the people. 
hope is exclusively found on the side of the weak, the losing side. People are touched by underdog stories, slaying the life. The weaker team winning a game. The majority of society is made up of the weak and untalented. They are inspired by such tales. What are you saying? If my assumptions are correct, you will release a light even brighter than his. And in order for that to happen, I need you to participate in my game. That's her, that's his brother, or her brother. Through the game, you will grow, defeat the final boss, and become the hope for this town. That's why it would be quite disappointing if you give up halfway through. Please, save this town from despair. Show me your dazzling light of hope to crush despair! What, what do you mean? I'm... hope? I, I don't understand what you mean at all. Ah, I see. So you still don't understand. I blame myself. I should have been more enthusiastic. But regardless, I truly do believe in you. No matter how big the despair, Hope will always win in the end. The end. That is why I feel no remorse becoming to spare myself. You, you're just as crazy as those kids. You must be insane. He do be crazy. Me, the more important thing is what you two are going to do now. I mean, now that Toko's lie has been uncovered. Toko, please just tell me the truth. What he's saying, it's a lie, right? That I'm gonna be traded for Biakia, and you've been lying this whole time. That's, that's gotta be a lie. Answer me, Toko! Who would actually want to save someone like you? Of course it's not a lie. What? All this time I was protecting you and cheering you up, it was all for the sake of Master Biakia. Toko... That's right. I was deceiving you. Aww. And you just kept relying on me. Toko! Toko! <laughs> Trusting me like an idiot. It's your fault. I... I believed in you. Well, you shouldn't have done that. Damn, Why would Toko. you believe in me? I have a split personality with a serial killer. I'm abnormal. Toko, no. All my life, nobody... He even tried to trust me. It's always been like that. That's why I've never had a problem lying to people. But regardless, why do you believe in someone like me? Toko. From the very start, I hated you. Just being with you was insufferable. Lies. It's all lies. I'm not lying. It's the truth. No. I tricked you from the start. You were a fool not to realize it. You're just a stupid idiot who got set up by the coward Toko Fukawa. Simple as that. Ah, Toko. Don't you think that maybe your ranting isn't helping? If it's you put all it like lies. that, she will be even more motivated to leave you behind, will she not? If you want to stop her, you've got to try harder. Byakuya is important to you, right? There's no other way. By force, if I have to. Force? Gotta kill! Kill, 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 kill! Oh, oh damn. I gotta choose. I gotta start the slicing. Togo! If you don't get serious, I'm seriously gonna kill you! Stop it already, Toko! I won't let you escape, Kamaru Nayagi. It would be true if you did not play your role. Oh, okay, wow, that got lewd. My hacking gun should be able to... Stop it! If you don't defeat me, you'll never be able to leave this town. What am I supposed to do? You've done already. Yes, it 
works on the stun gun. If you don't defeat me, you'll never be able to leave this town. See? Now what are you gonna do? Ow! I'm confused. How am I supposed to hit her? To survive, you have to sacrifice something. Whether it's school or the outside world, it's all the same. No! You mean you got better? You disappoint me. Wait, Paz, are you leaving? You can shoot the stun gun with break. If she can't use stun gun, oh. Run! I see. If you don't get serious, I'm seriously gonna kill you. But then how do I? Stop it already, Toko! I won't let you escape tomorrow night. It would be troublesome if you did not play your role. Future foundation that stun gun. My hacking gun shoots. It works on the stun gun! If you don't defeat me, you'll never be able to leave this town! See? Now what are you gonna do? Her skirt- oh, I just came back. Her, the skirt vanishing? Yeah, apparently... If you don't defeat me, you'll never be able to leave this town! I'm trying to figure out how to actually hit her. You'll never be able to leave this town to survive. You have to sacrifice something. Whether it's school or the outside world, it's all the same. What are you doing? Stop! Oh, she has a health bar. I'm just an idiot who didn't see it. We're just supposed to wear her out. That's strange. Even with the hacking gun, Komaro should be easily outmatched by Toko. You're done already. No. Ow. No. Get me out of here. No, I think she's, she just have to wear her out because she's on a timer. Ah, she lost consciousness. Toko. Oh, I lost consciousness. That means I must have lost. If that's the case, I can't stop you now. Hurry up and run! What are you doing? If you don't hurry, next time I really will take you by force! Why was she doing that? Um, because she made a deal with the bad guys that she would bring, uh, uh, Komaru to them, to the children, in exchange for Byakuya's life. So she was kind of, so her lie got exposed by Nagito. And so she kind of went crazy and was like, well, I guess I'll do this by force. But we don't really know exactly what she was trying to induce by force. It was just she was trying to do something. You did it on purpose, didn't you? You lost on purpose. Huh? You lost on purpose so you can let me go. Right? Saying mm -hmm. cruel things to me and attacking me without warning? It was an act, wasn't it? So that I wouldn't hesitate to leave you here. There you go. What are you talking about? Why would you think that? Don't treat me like an idiot. I already know you're much stronger than I am. We've been together all this time. Toko, why? If things stayed the same, you never would have made a move, would you? You always made me decide. You didn't do anything on your own. So you... Wanted to give me a chance. I was with you all this time, you know? I... I know you well, too. And also, listening to this crazy idiot's orders just makes my skin crawl. Hope. <laughs> it sounds disgusting when you say it. You tell him, girl. Well, that is completely understandable. 
but are you really okay with this? Also, we don't know why there's marker, marker stuff on his face. If Miss Komaru runs away, the safety of the hostage cannot be guaranteed. Well, personally, it's for the sake of the game. Byakuya Togami is important to you, is he not? Mm -hmm. Then allow me to lend a hand. See? You'll still make it if you go now. <gasps> Toga! Don't go through me! Even though you two share knowledge, you don't share memories, correct? So then, you have no idea who the real enemy is. An honest mistake, I suppose. Idiot! Suppose. It's no mistake. What I share with her isn't just knowledge. She and I also share emotions. If we didn't, there's no way we'd both love Master. Uh. And my emotions are telling me this. To kill you Do and it. let Dekomaru escape. And you are something of a pretty boy yourself, so I can kill you as I like. No remorse. Ah, I see. So you've decided to stop taking advantage of Komaru Naegi. Is that friendship? Huh? To travel the harsher path. Uh oh. For the sake of protecting your friend. Such beautiful friendship. I truly think it's a splendid thing. But aren't you a serial killer? You're an aberrant who has no problem taking lives to satiate your own lusts. For someone like that to say things like friendship or friends, do you not find it strange or even shameful? <laughs> Friendship! Friends! <laughs> Obviously, friggin' not. How you calling my friend? No! You're my friend! What are you doing? Let go! <laughs> no, I won't! I mean, you made a promise with Byakuya, right? You said... You won't kill anyone anymore. If you keep your promise, you can be an official member of Future Foundation. That's why you... You just can't. I never thought of... of you or Toko as abnormal, not even one bit. You're just a little strange, that's all. But even so, you are important to me. You and I are friends now, no matter what happens. You're a precious friend and I won't let you do this! You know... You're probably wasting your time. I mean, after all, she knows she needs to kill me. Byakuya's life is in danger as long as I am alive. If she breaks the promise we made and lets you escape... I'll stay. If that's how it is. If I stay in the city and go with her, then it's fine, right? That's hey! You know what the hell you're talking about? You were crying and whining about escaping earlier, remember? You know what? You change your mind? I still want to escape! I'm still scared! Even now, but you feel the same way, don't you? You were scared too, but you tried to help me escape. And hid how afraid you really were inside, didn't you? There's no way I can run now, leaving you behind! 
as expected. You just don't get it. I betrayed you. I betrayed you, you know? No, no you didn't. And you're suffering from guilt, aren't you? If you're hurting, you can tell me. I'm an unreliable, normal girl who can't do anything. Aww. But I can at least do normal things, right? And it's normal for a friend to help a friend. I'll stay. No matter how much you say no, I will definitely stay with you, all right? I've decided. Man, so annoying. All that lip service talk that I hate, so damn <laughs> irritating. Anybody can just say something. In that case, I'm a great detective, an astronaut, a reporter, and a Terra super beauty. <sighs> and besides, you have absolutely no idea what I'm really like. What do you mean? There's no way I'd say no. Huh? Rather... <sighs> Thanks. <gasps> Toko! <sighs> oh. just happened it, it's all right i kind of figured out what was happening huh really <laughs> friend <laughs> the last time i was called that was in a dream i had in grade school that's pretty depressing <laughs> well you're actually one of many friends that i have so you don't have to take it that seriously you bring that up now let me have this moment a bit longer geez. oh wow. Guess it turned out so all right. not funny. If Komaru Naegi had run away, the hope of this city would have gone with her. To prevent that, a wound like this will not diminish my resolve. Though it does hurt. It's time you started talking. How do we release Master Byakuya? All you have to do is defeat the final boss. You save the princess after defeating the final boss, right? In theory. In theory? I was not the only one who came up with the plan to take you to the children's base. I have a partner, but I'm not sure what they are planning, to be honest. Who is that? There's no way I would tell you that. I have already been disqualified from the game. But it'll be all right. No matter what kind of despair awaits you, hope will overcome it. The deeper and darker the despair, the brighter and more powerful the hope born from it. Yeah, you're crazy, all right. You are seriously disgusting. You're like three steps below vomit in a toilet. Damn. Anyway, all you need to do is progress forward. I will support you until the very end. So in order to get back Byakuya, we need to stop the children's rioting, right? Then... I'll do it. There's no other choice. Good night, good night all. Right, good night graphic, good night graphic noodles. Sleep well, my dude. Hope you have a wonderful day tomorrow. Are you sure you can do this? There's no way I can accept leaving you behind. Thanks to you, I've come this far. And not just that. Maybe I'm not really attached to this town, but I will save my friend. Kamara. Oh, and one more thing. I have a little hint for you. The building the children are using as a headquarters is called Toa Hills. Marching in there with just the two of you would be a bit suicidal. Monokumas have dug in all around Toa Hills. Even you two would have trouble with that many. Build an army. Then what do we need to do? Well, we could ask for help from Shirakuma and Haichi. Their help? They want to stop the children as much as we do. Shirakuma said it too. If we work together, everyone can be saved. And everyone's happy, right? Cool thing I have a final copy of Final Fantasy X, 10, 10 HD from. Nice. 
Where, where did that come from? Now's not the time for heroics. But I think you and I can do it. It's going to be all right. Should be in bed by now if I focus instead of watching stream. You should just be focused, dude. Just go to your homework and get some rest. It's not worth it Such staying up late. Splendid growth. Your world has gradually grown wider, as expected of his little sister. My judgment was indeed correct. Ah, that reminds me. The Resistance base is in the sewers underground, correct? How do they handle it in America? In that case, there should be an entrance to the subway if you go through the business district. As I recall, there was a blue building. If you move through there, you'll reach the base. You're sending us on a pretty specific path. Is this also part of your scheme? I would prefer that you think of it as support. It is information that will help you. Well, it doesn't matter what you're scheming. Master and Kamaru, I'll protect them both, even if it takes my life. Do your best. Defeat despair. Goodbye. Toko's walking a little weird. No. That's it. Just a little longer. Just a little longer. And that light of hope will swallow the despair of this place. <laughs> I can't wait. So upset over something like this. You really are a child. Damn. Oh, wait, Nagio's cruise hmm. and cruise goal is to get the city to fail at this being captured and try to revive their boss? No, um. Nagito is it has a different plan than the kids. The kids just wanted to build their paradise and also return Junko back. But like they're because like Junko died, and so their thing was getting Monica to bring her back to life, or at least like some version of her. Uh, whereas Nagito's thing was he's trying to manipulate everything so that the two of them defeat the children. But only, but like, kind of in the same way as Thank the second you. game, where he does it huh? very indirectly. Saying it so plainly like that, it's actually kind of refreshing. Yeah, for me too. I've never really thanked anyone before. I feel your spirit. Okay, that sounds like a problem. But yeah, I think that's what they were going for. I could be wrong on all that, but that's my understanding of it. If this cops give you code for X2 is not a switch card game card to make it Oh man. I hate I really, really do hate digital copies. I just don't find them I don't know, I just don't like them. But I'm gonna end the stream here. I'm exhausted. Low key, and I don't think I can uh, play anymore. I think so thank you all for hanging out though. It's been such a long time since you know, I streamed and it was good to be back, even though I was a bit tired. But um, I'm gonna send you. Who am I gonna send you? I'm gonna send you over to Tim actually. Uh, Tim's playing Outward, and it's the second day playing it. But thank you all for coming. I will be streaming the next two days, as far as I know. Uh, tomorrow, I'm gonna be streaming. I'm gonna be doing my set reviews for Smash. So it may not be the most exciting thing, but if you're interested in competitive Smash at all, I highly recommend you coming because um, I plan on having a couple of people there that are really, really good at looking at the game and um, just kind of breaking it down and seeing like, oh, these are my flaws and whatnot. I think if you're gonna get into any kind of competitive, it's a, any kind of, any competitive game really, it's not even just Smash. Uh, I think it's a, a very, very important skill to have, but other than that, and then on Thursday I'm gonna play more with Ultra Despair Girls, uh, unless something comes up, which I don't expect it to. The only thing that would come up is the fact that I our my group project isn't finished, but I think the goal is to finish it tomorrow. But we'll see. We're gonna go raid Tim. 
because he's an awesome dude. But thank you all for coming and have a wonderful night, everyone. Good night, Foxy. Good night, uh, I can't join. Good night, Yuki. Yuki chan. Good night, Carter. Good night, Baz. Uh, I actually don't know who else is here. And alive and kicking, but we're gonna go raid Tim. So, sleep well.